Hey guys, welcome to our live from Eastream New York Fashion Week. We are at the iconic Empire State Building, gearing up for Christian Siriano's show, where he's going to be debuting his fall winter 2022 collection. I'm Zana Roberts Rossi, and you're invited for a front row seat to all the looks and A list arrivals. And believe you me, that front row is going to be stellar. Okay, this is where the Christian Siriano show is going to take place in just a few minutes. We're on the concourse level of the iconic Empire State Building. Models will be walking through in a figure eight, just through here. And guys, just you wait to see who's walking. Coco Rocha, Obs, Candice Huffin, and will be among a couple of the mega models who are walking in this show. Now, you know Christian Siriano. He's one of the most iconic American designers, and he's dressed every celebrity in the book. Zendaya, Lizzo, Lady Gaga, Christina Aguilera. I mean, can you name a celebrity who he hasn't dressed? I certainly can't. So the collection we are told is all about, listen to this, Victorian Matrix. Now, I know that sounds like a contradiction in terms, but hey, it's fashion and most things are. <laughs> he really knows how to dress the feminine form. And this collection is all about sheer fabrics, ruched sleeves, intricate detailing, and structured dressing. You know, the guys, you know the fans are already going wild for his show. And we have got a few of our favorite fan tweets right here. Okay, Jan, she tweets, just love all your collections. Deborah writes, Christian, you're an inspiration for all designers. Katie tweets, best wishes, Christian, for your fabulous show. Now, Christian shows are always fabulous, so we're all in for a treat. I'm gonna go and chat with some of the amazing guests who are rocking on the front row now. Guys, this is quite the stellar front row. Oh, no, exclusively here with the man, the myth, the legend. Hi. Hi you want to introduce yourself? It. I don't think these people know you. Oh, I'm Christian Siriano. We're uh -huh. here. We're backstage at a really cool show. <laughs> just a little uh, show. Just a little show. In the most iconic building in the world. Yeah, we're here at Empire State, but we're not going up. We're down under. Oh, yeah, it's, we'll yeah, yeah. And um, we're down below and hidden from the world, and, you know, we're escaping. What on earth made you choose the Empire State Building for this incredible collection? I wanted something that was like, you know, iconic New York, yeah. but the idea of the collection is that it's kind of like this kind of Victorian matrix thing. <laughs> so, so like, yeah, yeah. So the <laughs> idea is that, you know, like, I think, you know, we're kind of living in this world that um, almost feels like we're back in time. It, it is like, you know, Queen Victoria is ruling us, but it's like Victorian sure. times, but then we're in the matrix. What is real? What's not real? Is it COVID? Is it not? Like, what's happening? So right. I kind of wanted everyone to kind of come underground and be escaped and like right. in this dream world. Just like Queen Victoria meets Keanu Reeves. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> For sure. And how is that manifesting itself in the more amazing dresses I'm seeing behind? Yeah, I mean, I think throughout the beginning of the collection, um, we definitely go with this kind of cool vinyl sexy moment, but it's in this really beautiful ink blue, so it's not like your traditional black right. thing. Um, there's a lot of beautiful blues. Everything has this hint of blue. I think I was just, it's my blue period. I don't know. I was really into that. I felt like um, I wanted like colors that felt like emotional and rich, um, but it's still dark and sexy and then does have a very like romantic kind of um, old world feeling. Yeah. So obviously you always turn out that front row. They all come out to see you. Um, what made you, well, what, what about the front row today? Can you give me some little? It's stuff? really good. It's I was like, good, we've, no? got, we've got like Oscar winners. We've got drag queens. We've got, uh, we've got everything. Like we, I was like, I love like having like an Oscar winner next to a drag queen. I think it's genius. <laughs> and, um, and I just think that's what fashion is. You know, I like a mix of people of all these amazing talents. Um, you know, they're all so wonderful, wonderful women. Um, that also celebrate each other and yeah, it's so fun yeah. to see that and it's a really good good crowd you celebrate body diversity like nobody else does in the business and you've done it since the day one yeah. This collection is going to be available up to size 30. Yeah, this up to size 30. Yeah, we've been up to size 28, and we and it's so crazy because it's really changed our business. And yeah. you know, we really do sell those sizes. Like, yeah. there's women out there that want really cool clothes in that size. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was a misconception for a long time that oh, a bigger woman wouldn't want something really fashionable, and that's just yeah. not the case. Everyone does. Um, so we're going to see that again in the in the show. We are verging on red carpet award season. Yeah, Sykes is very, very soon. 
any of these dresses we might be seeing on the sides carpet? Maybe, um, because it's always so close to Fashion Week, but I'm sure somebody will try to steal that. We already made a few custom things while we were doing no. this show, so um, it was hard, but we'll see. You never know those, Anna. You know, it can be, we could I make know. we could make 10 things and one happens, we could make, we could not know anything and 10 people show up in there. Yeah. You never know. Well, I know someone who wore your dress so beautifully very recently, Hannah Waddingham. Yeah. And she's coming tonight. Yeah, she is. She is, why is she such a perfect, like, I mean, she just oozes fun and joy and optimism. Well, one, she's a blast to have a fitting with because right. she's just what happened? so, like, animated and insane and, like, screams and, like, gives you a, like, it's just a moment. It feels really she good. Loves she loves it. it. And um, she looks great in clothes. Yeah. And I think, like, she just, Banging body. She, bang, I mean, the body is insane. It's insane. <laughs> so it's so fun to dress. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, last question for you. What would be your design motto? Oh my gosh. I think it's like definitely take risks and like push myself a little bit. That's like what I really try to do every season. Mm -hmm. And I always have to remember that like you'll never please everyone. Right. So you just have to find the right people that you're trying to please and, and figure that out. Um, that's, yeah, I think that's what it is. So I said last question. It's not actually last question. <laughs> what is one of the hardest things doing a show in the Empire State Building? What was one of the challenges? Oh my God. Um, it's just... Uh, you uh, want the list? You really want the list? No, it's really cool. They've been really great, but it is logistical. Um, you know, lots of rules. Lots of rules. <laughs> well, it's the most photographed building on the planet. It so is. Yeah. a lot of rules. I understand. I get, we get it. We I respect it. it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Love you. I give you my hug. I'm good. What? Let's talk about the haircut. Please. I was in this place of like new chapter, had so many amazing things happening to me. Uh, and now I'm just like, you know, now it's time to shave it off and uh, start that new chapter. Just a few amazing things. The last time I don't think you had the golden globe when I saw you. I did not have that just yet. But I'm really happy about it. It's finally setting in. I'm feeling like a winner. So it feels good. Finally settling in. It's taken a minute, right? Oh my God, it took four weeks. It took four <laughs> weeks. Like that's too long. That's too long. Do you have it in your hand? Is it at home? Is it on the toilet? Where is it? I Where do. is it? Well, I put her in a little locket. You know, she came in a little box. Okay. And I want to keep her there, you know, just to keep her clean, because I don't want no fingerprints getting on her. You know what I'm right. Right, you know? Yeah, just keep it up. <laughs> um, you're coming out for Christian tonight. What? Oh. Why Christian? What sets him apart from other designers? Well, he sets himself apart when it comes to his designs. It's very futuristic, mixed with old style. Uh -huh. He definitely knows how to push the gamut when it comes to that. Yeah. And I've been hearing this thing about Victorian slash Matrix. Yes! It makes me happy. You know, I'm feeling it. Which I'm happy about. Like, I, I, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, I've given you that moniker without seeing Right, 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 right. You know, off with her head kind of deal mixed with Trinity. <laughs> amazing. Are you going to any other fashion week shows? You know what? I just came in and I might have to fly back to LA pretty soon. So I just came in for Christian. Oh, that means so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. SAG Awards are coming up. Will you be there next week? I won't be at the SAG Awards next week, unfortunately, but I'm still going to be rooting my peeps on. You know, congratulations. Who Everyone. Everyone. Can I have an amazing fashion show on this? Yes, yes, yes. Michaela oh. J. Hey, my love. Now, Santa and I are dear friends, and we collaborate on the Drew Barrymore show on a constant basis. We are sisters in beauty and dear friends. Oh, and um, both have the same birthday. Which is next week. Yep. What are we doing? 22, 22. Our... I, can you believe that number? What are we doing? What well, are you we doing? the birthday show for our show. Mega show. And um, I mean, I don't know. What are you going to do that night? Well, we're going to go out to dinner. Can we? Yeah. I mean, it's a wait. school night. Uh, OK. Do you have any fun celebrations with the kids? Because my girls are already planning my birthday next week. What are you going to do? I mean, I just told the girls I just want to have dinner with them. Uh, that's all I care about. I don't care if it's on the couch watching Netflix with takeout food, or maybe we dare to go to a restaurant. This is rare for me to be out. I'm trying, I'm seeing everybody maskless. I know. I know everyone's, you know, it's a, it's, if anyone else has mental gymnastics they need to do to be social, I empathize. It takes a lot of courage to start living normally. Yeah, got 
My friend, you've come out for Christian. Among all this, why Christian? He has actually taken the time to build a friendship with me, and I'm so honored because I have only old and few friends, and Christian is my new friend where he says, let me take you out, get out of the house, come with me, let's do this. And you need someone to encourage you because you don't, I don't leave the house. Do you ask him for style advice? Is it like a quick speed dial? Well, he's come on the show a bunch, and I, I love also his design aesthetic for furniture and his home collection. I feel like this room is a great representation of a beautiful style in itself. It's a perfect backdrop for the clothes. How did you get, what was it like getting ready at your home this morning? Because it was, I'm looking how turned out you are, and I know mine was not like a seamless. Well, guess what I did, Santa? What? I did what you and I do. I used Flower Beauty, the way you use milk makeup, and I filmed it, and I did it in a time lapse. And I did what everyone can see is you could put your own makeup on at home. And I went high on the bronzer. I don't know if it's working. Lights are bright, we need it. It's all good, it's like a natural filter. Yeah, I got lucky, Mr. Daniel did my hair, but I did my own makeup. Cause Well, um, we're all going out again and we're gonna get glamorous again, that's what it's about. Well, you've never stopped being glamorous. Can I see the red on red? I love you. What a shot. I could talk to you all day, but I know there's a thousand people. I am, I am interrupting your conversation. I feel so rude. I'm like, you must be pretty. I mean, face. Loving on each other, basically. I, I, I witnessed that little moment. It was so special. Is this the first time you met? We have not met, and I am a huge fan, and it's so exciting to be in the business and meet somebody that you can fan on. Right. Just beautiful work, fierce ass body, and banging body banging body like body of work body on person so exactly. it was just a joy uh, speaking of you uh, you are doing pretty good yourself well congratulations on me I thank you so it. much it was, like it Did was you an realize it was going to be such a mega success i had no idea I, I don't think any of us thought that our little show that we shot during an, an amazingly insane time in our world was gonna blow up the way that it did. And it's a worldwide success. We had no idea. So I'm so honored to be a part of it. And so pleased that it has touched so many people, yeah. that it has moved so many people. As your music has it. now. Thank you, well thank done. you. Congratulations. You really are touching so many people and it's for so many reasons. Thank you so very much. You know, music is something that's very dear to my heart. I don't think I've done as much of it as I should, but um, it is it is a huge honor to me to be able to give voice to something in the space of song and I'm I don't know I'm just really I, I'm very thankful well I'll tell you what I'm thankful for this fabulous Christian Siriano out for you let me tell you something about tell Christian me. Siriano this man likes a curve he appreciates a curve he snatches it in where you need to be snatched and then he lets it flow and it is such a joy to put his clothing on because he also makes clothing that you can move in like you can sing you can move across a stage you feel comfortable you feel free and you feel deeply womanly and that is so rare to be able to be free to do. Usually it's something is trussing you up in oh, such a way that you can't function. No, there's no room, there's no room, not enough time in life to be uncomfortable. No. <laughs> You're amazing. Amen to that, you look gorgeous. Thank, Thank you, you so much, congratulations. Lovely to speak to you. Thank you. Hi, Hannah. Oh, oh my goodness, you look, how are you, I'm Zana. Yeah, I'm so good. Nice you to fabulous. see, you look wow. fabulous, look at this dress. It's a little known designer called Christian Siriano. Oh, we don't know him. I, I don't know what, no, no. I think he's up and coming. Great, great, yeah. yeah. Imagine wearing him for um, an award show. Yeah, that would be crazy. Imagine? And then winning an award while you're wearing him, that's very odd. I mean, what would one do in that situation? <laughs> that was an amazing dress. Well, and it was amazing because he was literally in my room absolutely molding it to me. And I remember thinking, this is a real pinch me moment. Just his focused attention, yeah. just beautifying and beautifying everywhere, just absolutely molding it to every inch of me. It was incredible. I just did an interview with him backstage and he said, doing fittings with you as some of the most joyous fittings he's ever done. Really? Well, you're just so much fun and optimism and bright and you just, you just have such a laugh. Well, I think, you know, if you come from theatre, right. it's about the team. You know, it's about the team. We're all kind of bohemian 
gypsies and we all have our place within the team, yeah. you know? And it was, just, oh, it was so much fun. And I didn't think I was going to win at all. So I was like, yeah. Really not? No. Because we knew. Not, no, not a clue. Did you not, Did you not see me? I was like, blah, blah, blah. That's true. Oh my, you and Juno's friendship is the best thing. But that's another conversation. <laughs> I need drinks with you two. Um, so season three, in the works. Yeah. Any, and is it, is it a ridiculous question to ask you for a spoiler? If I, I don't know anything at all. Jason's not touching. No? Ja no, Jason's very clever because he strokes the, what I call the tash of truth. <laughs> And I go, is this happening? And he goes, I don't know, maybe. I Just like, know. yeah. Will you be at the Psych Awards next week? No, we can't be there. No, because we've got to start filming. And they're, so they keep us cozy so that we, none of us catch anything. Oh, yeah, this will be the last time you're out. Can I have a look at this fashion dress? Because it's handy. And comfortable. Is it really? Yes. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. Uh, one thing Christian did say, she's got the most banging body, and I concur. Bang. What do you do to work out? At the moment, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I've done nothing. Do you know what? Right. No, I don't. It's true, though. I, do I have literally done nothing since, like, March last year. So I need to get back on it. You, you are fine, trust you me. Fabulous. You so I love green. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, my what? God. Oh, honey. Listen. Oh, listen. listen. When Christian calls, baby, you gotta show up. <laughs> you don't need to be in the show. I cannot even yes, like stand. Go. Look at you. I can fit in here. Yeah, we go. This is a beauty. Thank you so much. I feel I feel like a glorious princess or something. I don't know. You're right. Give me uh, one word to describe Christian Siriano. Um, effervescent. Like his energy is just so, just so good. Like he's such a great person. He's been so kind to me and like just a hard worker, just uh, amazing work. That, that is, he's got grit and he does not give up. He's a tenacity, right? Oh, that's a tenacity, baby, which we love. That's what we love around her. <laughs> Fashion 12, amazing. Fashion 12. Ooh. designed your yeah. dress. What amazing dress. He was just talking to me about it backstage. He said it was quite a quick thing, you oh, know. Oh yeah, like we think we had like one or two fittings and that was it. it. Because he knows my body so well and I trust him like any like with my wedding dress. It was so easy. And yeah, we did a three in one situation, which was great because I got to wear pants because he knows that we like to get down. So I wore pants and had the princess gown and then kept it really, you know, fitted to I gotta do everything. So what was what was the getting down portion of the event all about? Oh girl. Do you know how to swag, sir? We just did it's just a little left to right situation. Yeah. All right, great. But then you just get low and low and low. Oh, we had a good time. And <laughs> <laughs> now and everyone was obviously part of the wedding. Did you have anything like your, your daughter was part of it, right? Yes. How special was that? Very I special, very special. It was tough because Miss Thing decided to take the flowers from another flower girl and was about to take my moment, but we got her together. My bridesmaids were so good. Julie Henderson, who's actually models for Christian sometimes, was one of my, bride, uh, bride, uh, my br bridesmaids. And so she held the baby down. Will we be seeing any of Christian's dress coming to a red carpet on your body very soon? Oh, I think so. You know, I just signed on to play Sophia in the Color Purple movie. So. <laughs> I'm right, sure I'll be, thank you. I'm sure I'll be wearing a lot of Christian soon. Is Oprah on speed dial yet? Speed dial? We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> That's a speed dial everyone was. I know, I know. I'm very honored. I get a fashion shot of your beautiful outfit. Look at this. That is that is a fit. Fabulous. And we're going up to watch the show. Should we go? Yeah. Okay. Let's go.
it's Christian Siriano presenting so many amazing looks today. We have to talk about Coco Roche's closing show moment. Always a drama, always fabulous. Christian basically gave us 50 shades of black and blue. We saw structured pieces, matrix-like silhouettes, oversized coats, soft Victorian style silhouettes. I love that we saw this dramatic transition though from then the blue into the black color palette with these unique cutouts, plunging necklines, bell sleeves, all the draping. You know what guys, it was so fun to see him play with textiles too throughout this entire collection. We saw some amazing ball prints, metallic fabrics, and even a little bit of velvet. All in all, a stunning collection that I personally cannot wait to see those celebs on the front row wear throughout this entire award season. Given everything we've just seen here, I think it's about time we do a trend of the day. Christian Siriano's New York Fashion Week pick for trend of the day, we're gonna go feeling blue. Like I said, we saw every single color of blue, navy blue, royal blue, cornflower blue, any silhouette, any fabric, feeling blue. You guys, thank you for joining me from Live From Eastream at Christian Siriano. We're bringing you VIP access all week long. So stay tuned and don't forget to follow along social and digital for the latest looks from one way to street style. I will be seeing you very, very soon.